Square Inventory Management Tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Square to manage your inventory. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So I'm over here on squareup.com and this is their website. And over here, it's pretty simple. You use SquareUp to manage all of your inventory, all of your sales, all of your purchases, receipts, you know, all of them. So let's get into it. So it's pretty simple. Just simply click on get started and you could quickly sign up and the sign up process is very simple and it's also free. You just answer these bunch of different questions like, you know, what type of business it is, uh, what is your business name and, you know, small questions, simple questions. And then you just simply click on continue. And once you've signed up, you can go ahead and log in into your dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I'll catch you guys in a second. And then you just simply click on login to log in into your account. And once you've logged in, this is how it's going to look like, right? So these are a bunch of different questions that you have to do. So these are a bunch of, you know, things that you have to do to get started, like like a checklist. So you activate your account to take payment. You know, you verify your identity, link your bank account and take your first payment. And then you set up your account, like, you know, customize receipt, set up taxes, location and stuff like that. And then you get started with Square's point of sale which is their application that you can download both on Android and iOS or tablet or whatever system you use and you are good to go. So over here, this is how it looks like, right? So over here on the left side, you have all of your options. You have your home, report, transactions, items, customers, and then in, down below you have all the other products such as e-commerce, items and orders, payments and reporting, right? So it's pretty simple. So let's get ahead and, you know, go over here onto items and create an item, right? So before we create an item, we need to create a category so that we can place that item in that category. So we'll click on category and over here we have a bunch of different ones, right? So this is uh, one that I created earlier. So it's pretty simple. Over here, you can assign different products to it. So to create a category, just simply click on create a category, enter in the name, and then you can just simply click on save, right? So we'll just call this, um, so it can be anything. So for example, let's say if you're a barbershop, you know, you can add your own uh, type of hairstyle if it's a salon you can add in your own treatment and whatever so i'm just gonna say like it's a signature hairstyle and once you've done that just simply click on save and your you know category is gonna be saved over here or you can go ahead and actually this is not you know so yeah i think they can add, save the category yeah i think that's good and then we can go ahead and create our item so if you click over here on items already created one but just leave it at that let's go ahead and create a new item right so we want to add a type of haircut so we'll just say like it's a signature haircut right over here and we'll assign it to the category as well and over here you have accessories or stuff like that but you don't you can go ahead and remove that so we'll just add that to the category and over here you can add the description of your you know item that you are trying to sell so for example you can go ahead and add in a picture of your signature haircut and you can move on so I'm just simply going to go ahead and find a picture of hairstyle. So let's just say that this is our haircut, you know, like our signature haircut. So we'll just save that image over here. Click on downloads, new images. I'm going to go over here and save that image. And now that it's done, we'll just simply click on the image over here and we can edit it out, right? So over here, we can add the image, go into pictures, choose the picture that you want and boom, here we go. And then you can assign a different color to it as also you know make it blue and just simply click on done so there you go then add in the description add in your location then you can add the variety variations of it as well like unit for price so we'll go with like let's just say it's 25 dollars and once that's done just simply click on save and you are good to go so now that you have your item created now you can go ahead and you know keep a track of your items over here as you can see in sales and discounts and categories then what you can do next is you can add your customer. So if you click on customers, you can go ahead and add a customer right here. So just simply click on create a customer over here. If you already have a list of customers that you can import the customers list by, you know, clicking over here and you can use, you know, use it or however you feel like it. So I'm just simply going to click on create a customer and over here you can add in your first name, your last name, the phone number of your customer, the email address, the groups, the company, and their birthday. And once you've added everything, you are good to go. So as you can see, once you've added that, this is how it's going to look like. And you are good to go, right? Then you have your transactions. And over here in transactions, you will be able to see all of the transactions for that time frame. Like, you know, all the receipts, all the purchases, all the items sold, and all of that. It's going to be stored over here. They also have an e-commerce platform over here. So if you click on e-commerce, you can go into the online sales channels where you can, you know, sell your product 
on online and other sales channels so over here you have to pick up and delivery partners so over here square for restaurants pos channel this one is it so wait it's loading up so over here you can manage this out so if you click on manage you can manage your own sales channels as well so over here you can just simply click on get started to create your own square sales channels and you know your own sites as well so over here it's going to take us over to square up slash dashboard over here slash sites but see this is what i was talking about i don't know why it's a glitch or whatever it is but it keeps sending me back over here i don't understand why it doesn't you know take me over to the sites platform it's pretty weird like even if you're trying to create a site a website on square online on squareup.com you can't really do that because i don't know why but it's a glitch but it doesn't work right for you to be able to go ahead and create a website you're going to need to go over to another website called webly and which is you know acquired and purchased by square up and over there once you create your website then you can you know connect it to this square up dashboard right here but for some reason you just can't move from here to there but you can move from there to here i don't know why it's a it's such an inconvenience it's stupid really but moving on you have your payment system over here so if you click on payments you have your subscription plans over here that you can create a subscription plan with so you can create like a monthly subscription plan yearly or whatever you want so everything is pretty simple nothing too crazy about it so over here once you've created your items you know you can go ahead and view your items how many items are in your you know storage and your stocks and all of that so over here stocks on hand you can have a bunch of different ones over here you can have all of your inventory over here everything is pretty much simple nothing too crazy about it so over here in settings you have your inventory options over here and over here you can adjust all of your inventory options pretty simple right nothing too crazy so that's it that's how you use it right and then you have your reportings over here as i said before in reportings you can manage all of your transaction and see all of your reports and you have your account settings over here and app integrations over here we have a pretty decent app integration system where you can integrate a lot of things so over here i don't know why this is happening but for some reason i can't really access a lot of things over here which is so weird i should be able to access them it's not working again but anyway that's it you know this website isn't allowing me to do a lot of things but uh, you know over here you can create discounts you have your sale taxes over here you have your options over here you can add other options you know of your items you have custom attributions over here that you can attach to to a specific you know item you have modifiers as well so pretty simple nothing too crazy about it so that's all the things that you needed to know about square up online all the things that you needed to know about squareup.com and how you can use it to manage create and store all a lot of items and you know your inventory so pretty much that's it it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye